Welcome to the channel, we are back with another one. Guys, I've been enjoying this game, but let me tell you something. Hell Divers 2? Hell Divers 2? Man, that game has got me hooked. I'm like Tyrone Biggums from the Chappelle Show. Yeah, it's that deep, but um, we're going to get back into this one anyway. I think we have to make our way to Hogsmeade, so let's do it. Oh, wow. Well, what is he sitting on? Okay, this game is bugging out. What's going on? Was that a magic tree or something? What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. Yeah, he's looking, he's looking fresh, you know. I trust Learned your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Um, hasn't Professor Fig said anything? No, Professor. I wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Uh, no, because you told me to shut my mouth, innit? So I've got to keep it shut. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Okay. Um, what, more work? We're going to be a, a kid, right? A teenager, because we don't like work. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Okay, so what more can you tell me about the potion shop? Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Oh, nice. Okay, so we're gonna get looked after when we head to when we get to Hogsmeade. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Okay, so there really is an uh, Ollivander's here, okay. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Okay, let's, let's go and see Mr. Ollivander then so we can get our magic wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Salo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Yeah, Nats. We're gonna go with Natty. How about Natty? <laughs> I gave her a nickname, Natty. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. Miss Onai. And she knows the area. 
She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. A butterbeer, nice. I'm, I'm assuming that's not alcoholic, right? Alright, before Professor. we go, let's see if there's anything in here. Okay, I speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Wait, I heard something. There we go. Let's collect this. Partial transfiguration. That's all of it. Ah, we out. I think it's a better idea to go with Natty or Miss Onai than um, Sebastian, because Sebastian's a troublemaker, right? He's definitely gonna get us into some trouble when we when we head there. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the Mending Charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. Oh, More got frequently hat. than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Repero in no time. Repero, okay. So, what is the purpose of this task? Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. All right, let's knock out this task. I might have to change my hat, though, because we can't be walking around school with the same hat as one of the professors, you know? So let's go and switch that up quickly. Let's go and switch it up. We're going natural. We're going with um, Governor, the Governor hat. That's what we call the Governor right there. Oh, swaggy. We might have to fuck with this, you know. My man's looking super, super swaggy. All right, let's go with that. Looking like a madman, but we'll do it anyway. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying spirit is. I meant to get that paper. Where's that paper? Around? I just saw some bloody paper flying around. Got it. There we go. All right, so I meant to go through here. Uh. A flying page must be around here somewhere. I hear it. I can hear it. Some kind soul help me. What do you need help with? Should we talk with this talk to her? Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. That's not nice. Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst. That no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new <sighs> friends. And so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Sounds awful. Um, yeah. Let's go interesting, right? She's getting bullied, isn't it? So let's be nice to her. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. <laughs> Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. 
Sounds as if they overreacted. So we have to get these gobstones back, right? I'd have done the same. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Um, any idea as to how to reach them? Let's see. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. All right, let's see if we can help out this little girl. We'll do that another time, though. Oh, there's a the paper. Brilliant. I'm not gonna lie, she seems annoying, though. So they're probably not bullying her. They're just telling her to shout. I'd it. better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand oh, okay. is a conduit of your magic. Wand at the ready. So we learn um, Repairer. Okay. New spell unlocks Repairer. This meddling charm Repairer can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. Okay, nice. That's, That's definitely going to come in Very handy. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Yeah. Okay. Repair. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Anything else needs fixing? Is that it? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, that's a gobstone there. How'd you get that? Accurate. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. Okay, that's one. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. All right, let's head to our next objective. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. All right, so we're going to link up with Sebastian and see what... Let me answer. See what he has to say. Because he wasn't too happy we beat him in our first, um, our first little duel together, so... Let's see what he's saying. Look at this little kid. What's he on? Like a little badass. Uh, who you talking about? Can I help you? Lucan! Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. That's nice to hear. I did take him down a peg. Yeah, let's be a bit cocky. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? For sure. Let's get it. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in crossed ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Let's get it. Get me in the ring. Spectacular. Let the fireworks begin. Wait, I don't know if I'm ready though. I haven't played this game in a while. 
So we'll make you regret signing up. Oh really? Uh, let's see. Triangles to block right Protego. Oh, we actually fight and fighting. Okay, break through yellow shields with control spells like the levitation, levitation spell, levioso. Oh, what's that? That's um okay. Target lock. All right, fuck it. Let's just get into it, man. Because uh, all of this, this is making me more confused. Oh shit! How you roll? Oh, okay, let's get, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Whip it, whip it, whip it. Oh, yeah, you're getting it. You're getting this work. Get this work. Oh, shit, he got me. I'm gonna die, shit. Let me stop being so cocky. Oh, yeah, we send that back. Oh, yeah, we got it. We got it. Get both of them. Oh, and you looking cool doing it with that hat. Yeah, we're gonna send that back. Ooh, I like it. Okay. One game nice strong, y'all. One game. Sebastian in. wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up, and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now it takes time to organise these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Appreciate you, Lucan. Hope to see you back here again. You know what? It's always the young ones, right? That are just ahead of the game. Like, he's definitely going to be a millionaire or something. Rebellion. Can we go in there? Oh, we can. Nice. Okay, Velvet House Cloak. No, can't go in there. Lumos. Protego. Lumos. Oh, that shit's not open. What? I'm sure it's magic, right? There's nobody actually in there. Is this gonna move or something? No. Off to Hogsmeade, let's get it. Hello, looking for me? Yes, I am, let's go. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsmeade. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Uh-oh. It's a little bit of flirtation I hear there. She's probably thinking, what the hell has he got in his head? Anything is possible. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. Rebellion. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. This butterbee seems to be very uh, popular on campus. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. <laughs> I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Wow. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. 
definitely. Uganda. Uganda's definitely not snowy. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in fashion making. What's that noise? Oh, wow. Uh, that's crazy. The attention to detail is, is, is amazing, man. Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something oh, started shit. there. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. already seen the hippogriffs absolutely is that urkel likely already named them too prance hoof and sugarfoot urkel's outside man that's the forbidden forest on the left it's off limits to students <laughs> as the name implies why well, is it off limits definitely gone in there the professors claim it is too dangerous i think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring ah She's There's hogs meat over she, the crest. She's got a point. Pass that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Let's get this. Hmm. She knows Rebellion. More than I, I will say. Well, I certainly learn a great deal in class. Can you break this? Or you just jump over it, innit? Now I'm stuck. Oh my god. Can I pick it up? Come on, come on, mate. Get your MJ on. Fuck sakes. Alright, let's go. Oh, we out. Alright, we got a new hat. We're going to put that new hat on. We finally got out of there. Sorry, I am one for exploring. I am a bit of a... I am a bit of a explorer. Okay, now, mate. Are we gonna rock it? It's looking a bit mad still, you know. I can't lie. We're just gonna do no hat. No hat. But he's got the hat on, isn't it? Yeah, okay. We're gonna do no hat. Cause he's looking ridiculous with those hats on. He just looks absolutely mad. Hogsmeade is a bit of a trek, isn't it? How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you? I still miss my homeland. But it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. We are getting acquainted with Hogwarts. Mr. Moon! The people seem nice. The Hogwarts Looks a bit worse for wear. Where's he at? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fit huh? here? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. All right. Oh, thank Mr. you, Mr. Moon. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. He's definitely I say drunk. That I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. 
I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep mm, that in mind. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Natty's making moves at your boy at Truma Tombs. You know, subtle moves, but she's making them. Right. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. <coughs> the Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Nice. Hogsmeade's looking good still. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spell crafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Okay, nice. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guides. Okay. So we have to head to... What is this? Okay, so all the ones that are, are popping up, that's the ones we have to go to, right? So let's head to this one. What is this? The scroll. We're going to head back. Uh -huh. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay, so we need a potting table. Potting table with a small pot spellcraft. For the free, we're always taking that if it's for the free. And small, po small potion station spellcraft, okay? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't got that money yet, man. We ain't got the coins. Uh, we can sell some stuff though that we don't need, right? Um, these gloves, I think these gloves are trash. No, we're gonna sell this. And the Charlie Chaplin hat, are we gonna sell that? The governor? No, we're gonna leave the governor. All right, we're good, let's go. All right, so we have to go to Ollivanders. Damn, there's so many shops, man. Revenio. Wow. It's like Charlie in a chocolate factory, isn't it? Like the Wonka shop or something. Can we pop them? Can we pop the balloons? Revenue. 
Revelio. We're about to be down the um, Revelio a lot. I see something underneath here. Oh shit, what is that? Revelio. Can I see you? Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Okay, so we're going to need the Duras Potion recipe. And the Wiggle Wed. Feel free well. to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Okay, recipes for a potion that increases the drinker spell damage for a limited amount of time. That's all our coins if we, if we buy that, so we're gonna have to leave that. Unfortunately. Okay, so the magic shot. And potions are potions. Right, so we let's go to visit visit the magic shop on the Ollivanders as well. If we can find that. What is this thing? I'm just curious about everything, honestly. I'm pressing everything. Uh Ollivanders is here. So it's to Ollivanders. Merlin's blooming beard. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. Uh oh. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something not to worry. Mm. No, Man's got the wand in his ear like it's a spliff or something. Uh, mm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Have we found the one? Crooked spiral, dark gray. Okay, so we can change it. Can we change how it looks like? Yeah, okay. How intriguing. Nah, we don't like that. Nope, nope. Uh, this one's ain't too bad. Curious indeed. I like this one actually. We're gonna go with this one. And you can change the color, right? How intriguing. Let's go with this one, the brown. Okay. And wood type. Oh, you can change like the Curious indeed. Brittle. I don't How know. Intriguing. Slightly springy. Yeah, let's lose that slightly springy. And unicorn hair, phoenix feathers, dragon heartstrings. Let's see phoenix feathers. Ah, phoenix feather, exceptionally rare, and right, a core with a strong sense of it. What do you think? I like it. I think I made a good choice. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. We sure will. All right, so we've got a new one now. And we've got one more, so the magic shop. Magic knee. Where is that? Right over there. Well, hello there. Revelio. So we are here, Magic Noops. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. 
In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Of Let Dittany guess, seeds? You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients okay. to pique your Flux interest, do not you? What does this do? Unlocks ability to grow fluxweed and large pots. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. I don't even know what half of this shit does, honestly. I need to look up some guides and tutorials. We're gonna sell this hat though, innit? No, oh, we're gonna sell it. Now we keep that. Wait, that one's got more than my one, innit? All right, let's go. Revelio. You can't even go in there. I thought you could actually go in the shop. All right, let's go and find our good old faithful Natty. Can we go in there? Oh, we can. Oh, wow. Who is she? Hello. Oh, come in. Come in. Welcome to Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly. Why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at... You. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Oh, Looking wow. for a change, are we? Nah, oh, man, I got a fresh trim. Can't you see by the fade? I'm not sure what you mean, but I'm quite all right as I am. Yeah. Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too, if you'd like. No, I think I look good, you know. Thank you very much. I should be going now. Thank you. She sounds like she's from Essex, though. She could possibly be from Essex. There's a very high chance she's from Essex. What's in there? Oh, yeah. Let's see what's in there. Rugged robe. To we'll speak with him as well. We just got to inquire everybody. But first, before we speak with him, drink some tea. No pinky. Oh damn. Now, if they had the pinky out, that just would have did it, you know. You can't talk with him. Can we speak with him? No, we can't. Okay. All right, thank you very much then, anyway. Rebellion. All right, let's go see Natty. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Fuck it off. It's a big bastard, isn't it? So we just got to dodge him then, right? Let's go. Runs at the wedding. 
One's at the ready. Let's go. Oh, damn, Natty. Go hit Natty like that. That's wifey, man. You can't be hitting wifey like that. Ooh. I was trying to beat him at his own game. Another one. I like it too much. You got it, Natty. I got you. Oh, come on, man. Don't do Natty like that. Oh, quick ones. Oh, we got him. Oh, okay. Came on some Dragon Ball Z a shit. Troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. We got Merlin's your beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh, that's the feds? Oh, damn. I don't see a badge. All right, let's go repair damages. Repairer, right? Repairer. I need, I need a magic wand in my house, honestly. That would be so clutch. I saw a flying paper. Let's get that page. There you go. Repairer. Set the gecko as well. Repairer over here. This thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Okay, town's almost looking spick and spam. And we've got another one. Rebellion. Right here. Oh, this, right. We've got to fix this big earth. Repair. That's so dope. That's so dope. Are we good? We cleaned up everything. Is she in the shop? She is. We gotta check on Natty, mate. She took some we hits. We were just talking about you. Natty, you good? Let's see your face. Okay, not a scratch. All right, you're looking good. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. No, sir, that's far too generous of you. We're you taking them robes. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Let's Plenty see what the robes look like. Today. Take your time. Okay. Traditional school robe. We're gonna take it anyway because it's free, and we're probably just gonna sell it. Okay. Yeah. I understand, I know. 
Yeah, I don't want to put the robe on though. That robe is not that good. Equip a robe. I have. I've equipped this robe. Okay. Well, we'll save our money for now and we can... Can I just sell it back to him? I could, right? Let's just sell it back to him. Thank you for the robe. We made a, a profit on that. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Yes. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Let's do Wonderful. it. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I'm intrigued about these butter beers. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Thank you. The famous butter beers. Let's have a look and see what, what they look like. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Oh shit, it's getting raw. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. What? Oh, I'm a bit confused, but... Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. The voice might be deeper than mine, shit. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> Oh, time lane. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock and Rookwood. 
What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything, but it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Alright, shit just got real. Let's do it now. Go head back. Revelio. We can always come back to Hogwarts, right? But let's head back to the castle. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Okay, you must return to the common room for the night. Access the map. So we can fast travel, right? Select the Hogwarts map button. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. So you can do Hogmeads and, and um, Hogsmeade and Hog Hogwarts. Okay. So the Great Hall. Where is the room at there? Just the Grand Staircase. Head back to the common room. Alright, what an adventure that has been. We travelled to Hogsmeade, we encountered a troll, and we made a new enemy. Um, it's been a great play for I've enjoyed it. Guys, that's going to be it for this one. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace out and one love.